legend. The legendary, this is what you call Buckmaster Brock. No. That's the man. This is Buckmaster Brock Jr. back here. That's the Buckmaster. <laughs> Guess what? You got just plenty of shooting lanes, old buddy. Oh, that's pretty good. I stood up the whole time. I put this thing up and leaned against the tree. in studio with us he's all the way up from the big state of georgia he's got a couple guests Coming back a year is it was probably the the best thing that we could have done but it was it was it was tough i yeah. mean it kind of it kind of hurt her hurt her you know our, our growth a little bit and it held yeah. us back just relying on the scouting or just relying on going and seeing with your own eyes or just the cell cameras or or the regular trail cameras once you start putting all that together yeah. then that's when you start killing deer consistently or having shots at deer consistently because some of us can't shoot just I ain't ashamed to say I'll miss them. I'll miss them, but I tell you what I do miss is them them big does. That's the ones that tear me up more yeah. than anything. And yeah. I've said it time and time again that if I see a deer and I pick my bow up and I say I'm gonna kill it, generally I can get it. Let the fun begin. All right, boys. Me and Caden are in the dove field. I don't know what we're doing here, but. We're in the dove field, so Caden's right down this corner row. Brock and Tucker's right down there. We're ready to burn some powder. Fly over and stop. Thanks, little bunny. I'm fired. I'm wound up, son. I'm ready. Let's go get in the tree right now. <laughs> well, it is not time it's, yet. It's, it's three o'clock, and I'm ready three, to get in the tree. Three thirty. It's not gonna be dark till seven yep. thirty. No, I'm. I'm uh, well, really, probably might be dark at six thirty. We might or better go back and just get in the tree now. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious alive. So, we get up here to our old buddy's place. My G-O-B, my good old buddy. That's what he calls me, his gob. We get up here, he's hauling corn. They're finishing up harvest. Roll into camp. Cade shot his bow. We got a game plan for this afternoon. Checked the wind, got some stands hung. We came up and we... We hung a stand where Caden's gonna go last year. It's where I killed my buck. We've got a buck daylight in there, pretty regular. So we'll see what happens with that. He'll probably shoot a 180. And I'm going to a spot I've never hunted. We hung a stand in earlier this year. So we'll see what happens. The next time y'all see us, hopefully we're sitting behind a big old buck. Wham! Illinois. Second evening set. Had no luck this morning. I didn't see a deer, which didn't really surprise me this time of year. It's early yet. Came in here to a real thick area. We had a deer in here we nicknamed Turkey Foot last year. He had like a crazy looking splits on his tines. 
drop Tucker off, got him set, drop Caden off. My buddy Brock's combining, so hauling grain. He's busy. About 69 degrees. Winds blowing 15 out of the northwest. It's hot. I mean, it's real hot. That's okay. We're in here hunting. We've got a lot done. Got some new stands home. This trip's really a planning trip. Or a trip we come up and do some prep for November, so we'll see what happens. I just wanted to say this too. I'm very blessed to be here and I'm thankful to have the friends that I've got. I've been thinking about that a lot today. Thank God for everything He's blessed me with.
deer ran, or didn't run, went the other way. A coyote came out. I lip squinted him back in. I just shot him ten yards. I hate coyotes. Bad. And y'all see on the video why I really hate them now. That's the biggest deer of my life that I've ever seen by one. And that coat just paid the price for it. I gotta get out of here. I'm, I'm not mad at the deer getting away. I'm mad at this coat for running it, so. Well, good morning, October 22nd. Caden and I are headed back to Georgia with two tags left in our pockets. We did not get it done this trip, but man, what a good trip. It was, it was a fun one. We got to see some deer. I'm sure as y'all seen the video by now, the, uh, it was that close. It was that close to the biggest buck of my life with a bow and I seen him again last night he was off in a bean field wasn't close or anything so it wasn't wasn't anything to show on video but I was excited to be able to come up here with you again yeah always a good time coming up here the next trip will be the whole crew we got some new guys coming into town with us I guess I got a grocery list to ride out now. That's about all I got left to do between now and headed, to, headed back up here. So probably already got it right now. No, not yet. Not I'm yet. getting close. I'm getting close, but I ain't got it done yet. So, but we sure appreciate y'all following along with us. It's been a, it's been a good season so far. Georgia's gonna get ramped up real soon. Illinois is always fun in November. So don't care go over and check out the podcast too when you're watching these videos you get done you can hear the full story all the details the nitty-gritty stuff that's going on we'll talk about it outdoors and chasing weekends we got some exciting stuff coming up we're always looking to change the game up a little bit for us anyway change our game up so we appreciate you following along make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, if you ain't already make sure you get you one of them Wilson's custom calls call in those a minute. Yeah. That's what he said. We'll see y'all in the next